Happy Friday, everyone. Today's Friday, December 11th. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. This is our weekend video update for pro members. Uh, taking a look at the markets, uh, S&P 500 specifically. Uh, finally got a little red this week. Did hit a new all-time high on Wednesday and then pushed lower the last few days. Looked like it started getting a, a little bounce uh, at the end of today. I still anticipate that we're going to be crushing through new all-time highs in the short term. So we haven't added any new short delta. Uh, these uh, few down days certainly helped us because we, we are carrying a little bit of short delta, uh, but anticipate higher prices in the short term. So we haven't added any new bunkers or anything like that. Uh, but if this thing starts to look a lot more overextended, then we'll certainly uh, do that. And we'll, and we'll be continuing to add new positions into next week. We've got uh, certainly enough capital to do so. And so that's the, that's the plan there. Before we jump into the alerts, just want to give you a quick update on our day trading. Uh, so Mighty 90 strategy, nice week, plus 1386, took 17 trades, great winning percentage of over 88%. Had a small losing day in the Mighty 90s on Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was a really nice day, and then today. So continue to do really well with that strategy. Only took one pairs trade this week, uh, took $82 loss on a Russell NASDAQ pair. And then the runners, uh, just plus 25, so scratched out a little win. Unfortunately, I botched a trade in Netflix today uh, that really took that down, but still uh, just slightly positive in the runners. So plus 13.29 overall for the week in day trading. I go into a little bit more detail in our uh, day trading recap video, which is posted in our Facebook group or in our Discord group. So if you go to Discord and Profits, I post those daily recaps in here as well. If you haven't joined the Discord, make sure you do. We'll post the uh, invite link below uh, below this video. And we're going to be eventually moving moving everything into Discord from the old forum. Uh, the forum is just, uh, for whatever reason, folks didn't really like to engage in there. We've got, we're have got we getting a ton of engagement in Discord. Uh, I think for the most part, everybody's liking it. We have had a couple of technical issues, which we are resolving or have already resolved. So... Uh, I think it's it's a great asset, great benefit, great way to communicate and talk. We've had a lot of you know trade ideas posted in here, uh, great conversations in the trader chat. I also post the morning positions and updates in here. The navigation alerts are posted in here as well, coming through extremely quickly, sometimes quicker than the text messages, sometimes a little bit later. Uh, uh, different categories, and we'll continue to to add categories. We talk about earnings trades. Uh, we've got a bot room, which there's some cool capabilities with the bots that can provide some some instant information. Uh, this is also where we're streaming. So for your live day traders, this is where we're streaming in our live stream room, uh, posting our day trades here. And so it's uh, it's all coming together. So thanks for your patience. I know there's been a couple of little quirky technical issues, but we are working through those and uh, should be good to go in full force next week. All right, let's jump into the alerts for the week. Starting with, so let's see, what was the date on Monday? Monday, it was the 7th. All right, so let's go to Monday 7th to start with our first one, which was, let's go, let's go, SPX. All right, so we did an opening trade in SPX on an iron duck. Entered this one with 14 days to expiration. So let's take a look at our SPX trades we've got a few going on here so this is the one that we put on let's see this is the weekly double calendar so it's this one this one when you get these different strikes you gotta you gotta make sure you check on the right ones there we go all right so this is the iron duck we put on you can see the beak uh price is still in the beak a little bit so we've got some room to roam to the downside We've also got a weekly double calendar. I'm just going to go ahead and do that while I'm here. This is another alert that you'll see coming up in the uh, in the alerts later this week. But you see, price is still a little bit centered, uh, up about 40 bucks uh, since we put this on. So I wanted to talk about this a little bit <clears throat> because I've had some questions. And uh, so what we did here on this one is, if you noticed in the option chain. On this cycle uh, so you can see once a month you get these AM options okay so if you're not familiar with those that just means they expire <clears throat> Friday morning 
at the open instead of expiring PM. So all the rest of these regular options are considered PM expiration, and these are AM because they expire in the AM in the morning. So what we did is, is we ended up taking this uh, with our front week in the AM cycle. Uh, a couple of reasons we did that. One, the implied volatility is a little bit higher. So you get a little bit more juice in those. Remember, we're selling those. So the higher, the better, typically. Uh, this one is just a little bit lower. So there's no problem doing with that. We, we do it in the, in the uh, regular PM weeklies all the time. But when that AM option comes up, it just adds a little bit more interesting uh, stuff to it. And I'll show you what, what that is. And then the back week is just, uh, you know, a few days later, in this case, 10 days to expiration at this point. So this is, we want to sell the front week, which is higher. We want to buy the back week, which is lower, which is what we're doing here. So what I want to show you is, and we did this last month when we had uh, a weekly double calendar in the AM cycle. So what will happen is next Friday, these expire and they expire first thing in the morning. So depending on where price is, as long as it's pretty well within range, uh, we what, what you can do is you can actually let these AM options expire Friday morning. And then you have, uh, once the uh, once those options settle, which is usually about 9, 9.30, sometimes 10 a.m. Uh, on Friday morning, uh, those will expire. We'll still be left with the long ones. And if price makes a decent move after the open, uh, sometimes these back, uh, back week options that we have bought can make a move. And so we can book max profit on our front week. So remember when you, when you do a double calendar, you're just, you're selling a strangle in the front week and you're buying a strangle in the back week. Okay. Oops. It's this one here. So we're buying a strangle in the back week. So if we can let the, the front week one expire for max profit, and then we can get a decent move after the open, you know, sometimes you can book, uh, you know, the max profit on the front and then book a little bit more profit on, on the back week as well. So it all depends on where the price is. And so we'll be, we'll be notifying you what we're going to do on, on Thursday with this, if we're going to hold it and let these front weeks expire or not. We, we booked a really nice profit last month when we did that. So we'll see where price is and, and I'll, I'll kind of keep you up to speed on, on what we got going there. So that's what we've got there. And then lastly, we've got another iron duck uh, right here that we put on today. And this is pretty, pretty close to where we put it on. So just holding this close to expiration. Hopefully we, if we get a little bit more down move, chance at a duck head, this thing rips higher, we'll book big profit as normal. All right, so that's SPX. So I jumped into a few, few other positions and alerts in SPX. So moving forward, we did a rolling adjusting trade in ZB. We've got this bond trade that we've been managing um, back to uh, really, really close to being back to profits. Got down under 21 days. We we're at 17 days to expiration. So we needed to roll that out and rolled it out to 46. Uh, this thing came down right at the end. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to lock in the uh, credit that we had hoped for, but we're still keeping the dream alive and, uh, and should be able to book a profit here if these things uh, stay fairly steady. So here's the bonds right now. You can see we've had a little bounce. We're up about over $700 since we did that roll. So if we keep moving higher, get a little bit closer to center, uh, we'll probably just close this thing out and, uh, and end up booking a profit. So that was ZBNG, similar thing. We've got a short strangle that we've been managing. This one got down to 21 days, so we rolled it out to 50 days to expiration. So if we take a look at Natty Gas, this thing has bounced since we rolled it as well. So we're up about $780, $790 since we did that roll. Again, we could use a little bit more room to the upside to get centered, uh, but we're making back uh, profits, getting back to profits uh, eventually there as well. SPX closing trade. So we had an iron duck that we closed out. This one, this is when price was still higher. So we booked beak profit on that iron duck. Uh, SPY did a closing adjusting trade here. So we had two iron condors. We had one that we put on in January. This is the one that we still had left in December. And so what we did is we closed just the put vertical side. And uh, it's when price was higher this week. It, it didn't break our upper break even, but there's still, there's very little value. As we can see, we close this, close this thing for three cents. And so we are just gonna hold the call vertical to see if we could get some downside, which in fact we did. And I'll just skip ahead to that real quick right here. And in this case, price came back down and we closed out the call vertical side, ended up booking over 50% of max profit on that Dece Iron Condor between the two verticals. 
Uh, next trade, RH. So we put on an earnings iron duck in RH. I want to go to the chart and just show you what the price action was here. <clears throat> so here's here's earnings. Uh, put it on right here. Uh, the next day it dropped and then and dropped a little bit more today. And so we're able to, it's still showing in the platform, but this thing expired and we booked max profit uh, plus $644 on RH. So great earnings duck there. Next trade, we opened a earning, uh, or I'm sorry, this was not an earnings iron duck. This was just a regular iron duck that we had on in Amazon. We had one on, we put this one on with nine days to expiration. So let's go to Amazon. Uh, we, we had, a, we had one that expired today. Uh, Amazon, Amazon, there it is. So this is the one that expired today. Uh, again, right in the duck head, plus 678 on that one. And then the alert I just showed you, we added another one. And you can see price is still in the beak here. So we got a lot of room to the downside for potential max profit. And we got a nice uh, $217 beak if this thing rips higher on us. Uh, that's the SPY. IWM did a rolling trade in IWM. We have this long put vertical that we're holding for short delta. Uh, got down to eight days to expiration, and so we rolled that out to 36. So let's take a look at IWM. Uh, you can see it's pretty close to where we put it on, just inside range here. So could use uh, some downside action to benefit that IWM trade. And then here's the, the weekly double calendar. I already went over this in SPX. Uh, opening trade in, S in uh, the Iron Duck in SPX I already showed you. Uh, RH. So this is just the closing, the exp, uh, expiration alert for RH that we booked that max profit. And then lastly, the expiration trade in Amazon that I already showed you that we booked that max profit. All right. So let's go and finish up, take a look at some of these other positions, uh, starting with Apple. So we've still got this Apple long put vertical that we're hold, holding for short Delta. You can see it's just barely out of range. Need some downside to get back into range there. Uh, we've got the, uh, I already showed you Amazon Iron Ducks. Uh, John Deere, we've, we've got this uh, short call vertical. Price is pretty close to where we rolled it last, just inside range, so could use some downside to benefit that. Same thing with DIA. I need a little downside action. This one's still in December, so we'll be uh, rolling this next week. We've got seven days to expiration, so we'll be in expiration week next week, so we will roll this from this cycle out to the January cycle next week. I mentioned IWM, QQQ, uh, kind of a similar thing, except we've already rolled this one out to 35 days to expiration. Uh, and you can see it's pretty close to where we rolled it inside range here. I mentioned RH. SMH, we've got this short strangle that we've been managing. It's, it's, uh, it's been adjusted. You can see price is outside of the range. But if we look at just the untested side of the put, there's still a lot of premium in those puts. So we're not looking to roll those up yet. Uh, we've got a lot of time left. We're in January. We've got 35 days to expiration, so not looking to do anything yet. Uh, so finally, this week, starting to get a little bit of downside in SMH. So hopefully we get a little bit more into next week. I mentioned SPX, SPY, Tesla. We've got a an iron duck in Tesla. Tesla just been on this rampage to the upside once it got... Uh, uh, noticed that it was going to be included in the S&P, taking a little break this week. Definitely didn't get hit as hard as some stocks, uh, but we have an iron duck in Tesla, so it's hanging out right here. Uh, we haven't booked that yet. We've got until uh, the, the 19th uh, is expiration, so we've got some time that this could still get back to max profit. Uh, if not, we'll book $168 big profit if this thing continues to rip higher. So iron duck's a beautiful trade for, for Tesla, the way it moves. XLK, uh, a short delta play. This is a long put vertical. Need a little bit of downside to get back into range there. So those are all the alerts. Those are all the positions. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, and then two weeks from now, don't forget, is Christmas week already. So everybody have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.